perfect dinner's right there. Let's try and get you. Come on out there. Yes! Got it! Smashing. Oh, hello there guys. Um, it's that time of the week again. Give me one cent to get this back to my house. And I will be with you then. Hello there, I am Victor Barisov and today I have a Fallout 4 build video. This is another small little build. I have named it Cabin in the Woods and as you can see there this is the poor rice stack I just shot for my food. We're busy butchering it up and getting it ready for to cook. So this build is right next to Anton Abbott's farm and next to the wrecked shipping fleet lock. I used Conquest to place this here and this is the little cabin what was already here. I just placed Conquest and changed it up a little and add some things. So I'm going to take you around the outside first then I'll show you on the inside. So I've just left the pre-war sign up. That's how it was. I haven't really changed much on the outside, just added the tree, hung up my shot rice tag I just shot. And skinning it and eating it and draining it so I can eat it later. I left the poor burnt out vehicle here because it just gives it a bit of a nice rustic feel. And over here we have a giant pumping station. It was powered by wind. So this is how we get all of our water into my little cabin here. And there's also, this doesn't need electricity but we do have power inside our cellmate. Well, I can easily flip it on or off by this little switch. And it's also powered again by three little batteries. So we didn't need a big generator out here, it's just for two people this cabin. This is my little water heater. Heat up all my bits of water inside the salmint. It should be smashingly warm. Let's check the pressure on you. Uh, just at 70 degrees. So warmish. Here we've got a nice big tree stump with some nice big axe in it, because I have been chopping through a lot of the trees lately. Here we've got all the firewood nicely stacked up right for the inside of my cabin. This porch bit was already here, I didn't change that, I think I just scrapped the trees what were near it. Slap the logs down in there after spend a hard day's work chopping them up. Husband wasn't much help because he's out hunting still, he hasn't returned back to the cabin yet. Just left the workbench outside near here because it's easy access. So we've got these steps here. Oh, well, I'll shut this door first. This door... It's just a standard steel utility door that comes from one of the mods. I can't remember what one. But I will leave a screenshot of all the mods I'm using to build its elements at the minute. And that will be in the end of the video. And you can pause it then and see which platforms they're on. So I know quite a few of the mods I use is on PC and Xbox. And some of them are on PS4. But if I can see out here. We did border up this window and two of the windows on the other side. You'll see why in a bit. I do have my little bench here, I can just sit down and it and look out into the woods, all the nice sunshine. Don't say much, we've got our little planter here where we can grow crops, we haven't grown anything yet. Well, it's just a locker, flipped it onto its back and shoved it to the dirt in it. Pretty sensible idea, and this is our little table with a few plant pots. In the rest in, we've got a shovel so we're growing our crops, and as you can see still out there, we've got a nice big blood trough hanging dead. My stag as we just shot it. Nice little Brahmin skull and meat. We do have another Brahmin around here somewhere but it's obviously run off from me. If I go in here we can open this up if we shut the hatch. Well that wasn't supposed to happen I can say that. The hatch is supposed to just stay with this door but it obviously hasn't worked so I must fix that later on. So I would just now slide this up, see what it is, so I'll keep my door locked. So we can get in, I can just see who's there, if I like them or not, I'll go look at it. But anyway, we are now in some account, so I'm going to start on this side, on the east side, and work my way around. So here we've got a nice little wood burning stove, goes outside to a chimney, got a bit of nice stacks of wood, what we can burn and cook inside, so it's nice and rich. And now over here, me and Nate's got a little dining table, a bit of wine put out, ready for tonight. Then this was the most annoyingest, stupidest, thing I've ever decided to do in Salmon. If you are to do this, I wish you luck. I decided to use Woody, I think that's what the mod's called. Uh, I decided to plumb all 
of my bathroom up. Yes, that is correct. I plumbed up my entire bathroom. The toilet is plumbed into this pipe, what runs outside to the water pump, and then this one runs down to my bathtub. I've got my soap and my rag there. Then I ran no pipe all the way along here to my sink. What's next to the first aid kit? A little towel, a night of mirror, and some hand soap. Then we run another pipe all the way up along here and up again into the ceiling joists. Yes, we've got some nice lights and a radio there. All the way along down into the kitchen area. And this took me roughly about an hour to two hours to plumb this entire bathroom to get out. So the first thing I did, and it took so long so now the pipes would fit properly, so I took a lot of out of it. But if we go over here, we do have a little hat rack and a coat rack to sort of bunk room, put our bits and bobs down. One well, probably think underneath our cabinets here yeah, because we're just still moving in, getting all the stuff set up. We have a sink that actually works, we have some soap, we have our dishes, we've got a nice window here to look out. And over here we've got some nice hanging vegetables and fruits just in case we need them. We've got our cooking utensils, we've got a nice cooker inside with the teapot on of course, just in case anyone's drinking cooking tea. I think I'll just stick with my vodka, it's perfectly okay. Then we have my pots and pans hanging up from the ceiling. Great invention, my name put them up there, but I must say I do walk into them quite a bit when it's early in the morning. Got some more food here. We do have the most amazing thing ever. Farm fresh milk. That is correct, we've been milking ramens lately. We've got plenty of supply and we've been selling it as well to the locals. Great invention. Um, we found magically a box of unopened Nuka-Cola and a, rest a little restaurant stall in the sea. So we we'll back. So we were short on space, we decided to put up a little drawer, a little shelf unit with a drawer in it, with some nice clothes on, weapons on the bottom, then we should put my desk unit across the top, so it was a typewriter, a clipboard, and a nice, whatever that is, I think it's a utility stand, is it? Not quite sure, because I've never used one. Then, this wall here, as you can see, it was part of our cabin. We just smashed the cabin down into the wall. So we need to print it. And on the back here, we have a nice big clock. We have a lot of vintage books all on here. We have our vodka. Well, some vodka or alcohol. Nice hat, helmet. Then we have Nate's pre-war pocket watch and his little military pouch. And a locker of me. Then um, we have a nice strong bed, orange with, pink, with polka dots, of course, because we do like that. We've got this nice lovely rug on the floor, just keep it warm. We do have our suitcase. Then we, on this side we have a little, nice little foot locker with a few little bits and bobs in. He has his work briefcase under there, just in case he has to go out and assassinate someone or do some with a briefcase. Then on here we do have some DIY boxes, put some clean towels and some clean clothes. But if we go back out here, there's one more building. Hang on, do need to get that fixed. We do have a little cabin over here, you may see it hidden in the woods. There's a perfectly good reason for it to be out here. It's a little modular cabin one comes with snappy house kits. Put this little bulkhead door on, we spin that open. Opens outwards, got these little steps. And we're shut. In here we have our little weapons workbench, armor workbench, we have our nuclear material workbench, lucky enough I'm wearing a hazmat, so we'll be getting a few rads right now. We do have a tie bear with a skull that comes with it. This is where we make all of our mini nukes, dirty bombs, or nuclear missiles, just in case we want to, you know, go and blow someone up or kill a ton of super mutants. Which we do like hunting super mutants lately. Smash and fun. Then we have a little chemistry workbench here. What we can use. And this is basically it for my settlement. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And like I said, I will leave a picture of my screenshot of all the mods I was using for this build. That should appear next. But before then, I will show you an overhead aerial view of this area so this is the end of my part this is victor barasov signing off until next time